A few weeks ago, Minimax released their agent and did a video on it, and it was absolutely incredible. The results were mind blowing, and in today's video, I want to try to take a board game that my daughter made, how good of a board game we can make from just an image. So we have the instructions for the game here, and we have a image of the board game over here. I'm gonna add a prompt that says I want to turn this into an actual computer game that has local multiplayer and I want the game to be 3D and look good. Ensure the rules make sense for the game to be playable. And let's hit run. So I have just given it two images of a physical game that was on my dining room table. We're gonna to try to make a digital version of that same game. It's going to be interesting to see how it tackles this because I did request for it to be 3D. I wonder what libraries and how it's going to code this. And before I continue and show you the results as it's generating in the back, I want to remind you to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest AI. You get really cool fun ideas like this one where you can take a real game and convert it into a digital game. I have a lot of credits, so we're gonna try other things in this video. We're gonna try to push this agent to its limits, so let's continue. It says, based on the images, I can see you created a wonderful homemade board game. It's a race style game with a spinner movement, star collection, various spaces, jails, questions, sabotage, a shop system, and an interesting end game face. I'll help turn this into a polished 3D computer game with local multiplayer. So this is the to-do list that it has created and you can see all the different phases and things it's gonna go through and then it's going to eventually start building the game out for us. Just so you know, this has taken about seven or eight minutes since I entered this prompt. I've done nothing since, so it's gone through and did everything else. And it is actually starting to build and test the project to see if everything is working correctly. And there is an error that it found. And since it's building the project itself, it is able to say, hey, we found this bug. We're going to fix it because when we went to build the project, it failed and now it found it. You can see if it literally says, I found it, let me fix this. It took about 15 minutes, but our game is here and we can actually play it. So we have our how to play and it tells us about the different phases. We have it called Star Race 3D and we can pick the number of players that we want. And depending on the number of players, it gives it different colors. So say we picked three players and those are the three different player names that we have we can hit start game. So for starters, it is not 3D, things are overlapping. We can see the names on the left, the player position, how much percentage they're complete, the racing phase. We can see a game log and who starts, and then we can say spin to start playing. So we can see the spinning and a spin bonus has been presented. So this is the game that we just created. We can prompt it back and forth and say, hey, fix this, fix that. But it is pretty cool as a base. There is apparently sounds that don't actually work. There is this little help menu, which looks cool. And then we can restart the entire game if we want, and we can kind of keep spinning. So you can see Franklin is here, Franklin A is here, and Franklin AI is going up next. And we can see Oh, well, maybe not. Now it's Franklin AI. Okay, so it actually highlights over the player that is going and whose turn it is. So pretty cool that we were able to make this game from just an image. Like I mentioned, we can enhance this. We can talk to the agent back and forth. We can say, hey, the spaces are overlapping on each other. And can we fix this? And can we tweak that? And I wanna have it more 3D, so make the board come to life. And we can do all this, but let's move on and let's try to push this agent to do something useful. Since this is an agent, it has the ability to not just browse the web, but it can take screenshots and look at things from a different lens than just a traditional large language model. So now I have a prompt that says, I want you to analyze my YouTube channel and I give the link and tell me how to improve the thumbnails and titles and give me bullet point info of how I can get more views. So you can actually use this agent to say, hey, I have this website that I have or my social media account. What am I doing wrong? How can I make it better? How can I improve? So our channel optimization is done. So it tells us how to optimize our thumbnails and it gives us recommendations. So we wanna increase visual consistency and it says to add a little logo for my channel. And I don't know if that's a good idea. Let me know in the comments below. Would you like that? Do you wanna see my little logo in my thumbnails? It says emphasize faces and emotion. It says to use high contrast colors. And it says I currently use bright colors but I can enhance them further with high contrast color combinations. It says to keep the text to a minimum three to five words and use large, bold, easy to read fonts. Don't just tell, 
and it says for your tutorial videos, show exciting end results in the thumbnail. It even goes on to say that for the AI Bigfoot vlog video, I did a good job showing the creature. Continue this practice by showcasing the most visual interesting outcome of the tutorial. It goes on to tell me about AB testing. It tells me title optimization recommendations. So you can use the Minimax agent to up your social media game, to enhance your personal website or to enhance your business website because it can surf the website. It's going to bring back data from other websites that are doing well in your niche and you can have it compare and do all the research for you to make things better, to make things rank and search better, bringing you more traffic, bringing you more business. The next use case I'm gonna show you is for your resume. So here I have a PDF and I said enhance my resume, make it sound and look better. We're gonna hit run and I'm gonna show you the resume that we are working with. So this is just a resume I found online. It is a template and you can see the education, the experience, projects that this person's worked on and technical skills. So we have given this to the agent and the agent is going to extract the details and build a better resume for us. So full disclaimer, sometimes it struggles. So it's gonna to try to show you a local host. So I have to actually stop it and say, hey, when you go to show me, it gets stuck on local host. That doesn't help me. So it says, you're right, give me a public URL and it gives you a URL, an interactive website, an enhanced PDF so we can access a PDF, a Word document, a markdown file, and it tells you everything that it has done and we can actually go and see. So we have a professional summary of what our skills are. We have a cool layout so we can actually print this as a PDF, but we also have a website that matches our PDF. We have our technical skills and I think the technical skills, the frameworks and tools, it looks really nice. The experience table, I think it did a good job at highlighting the important parts, like 40% increased user engagement stands out. It's quick, you can see it. And as we scroll down, I love the loading, the little effects, and this is cool. It is a website. We can also hit download PDF and it's going to generate a PDF that we can save and download on our computer. You can also use the AI agent for finding domains. So here we said we have a video, AI video generation product, help us brainstorm three short meaningful names for it. And we gave it some requirements. So say you want a .org or .net or .ai domain, you can put all this in, you can put in whatever extra tidbits you want. You can say, hey, my company name is this, or I need a company name, and you can change the budget. So we gave it all the parameters that I wanted and we have it going. So it has the ability now to go through and it's going to brainstorm short domains that are available like vidflow.com and it's checking to see if it's available. It's gonna go through and it's gonna keep searching the web until it comes back with some names for us. The domain research is done. It found several excellent options, it says. And we have vid gene X, it gives us the price. It tells us the meaning and it says why it's great. And then it goes on to video vidi craft which is not bad. That's within our budget and why it's great. And then we have real AI pro. And that's a cool name, I guess. And it tells you why or how it met all the requirements. And it says its top recommendation is due to strong brand ability and tech appeal. So now we can say, can you create a landing page for this domain and a logo? It's for an AI text to video generation site. So it found the domain for us. Now it's going to create the landing page. Something a lot of you are gonna ask is how many credits has this all used so far? And I've used about 2,200 credits so far. And if we go to upgrade, you'll see that is about $10 worth of credits to do everything you saw in this video so far. Our website is done and we can open it up as usual. It gives us a little link so we can click go to this. So we have our website here. This is what it looks like. The logo is too small, but we have features, how it works, use casing and pricing. And we can scroll down. We can see as we hover, it looks nice. We have this little video here. It says video generated in 23 seconds. So I guess that's a placeholder for an input text and then in output video, which is kind of cool. As we scroll down, it gives us powerful features. I love the effects and how it works. So it tells us exactly how it works. One, two, three, start creating now. If we want to enhance this and work on this further, we could, we can actually make a fully functional text to video generator. We can integrate some APIs and we can have a website working 
and with a domain that it found for us. Those are just some of the creative use cases that you can start using the Minimax agent with right now today. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI every single day. Like the video, it tells algorithm you enjoy this type of content and leave a comment down below. What have you been using the Minimax agent with or for? Is there any other agents out there that you're using? Let me know, I'd love to try them. Drop a comment down below. This has been a fun one, especially the image of my daughter's board game to a real life board game. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I